hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you a simple way that you can sell your usdt or any other assets on binance it's very simple and very easy kindly subscribe to this particular channel and turn on the notification bell in order to receive updates whenever i upload a new content kindly share this video and like this video for me to see that you really enjoy the video you can leave in the comment section your questions or suggestions about this particular video and i'll reply as soon as possible so let's get back to this video so if you've got some money in your trust wallets or your binance and you want to sell it on binance p2p and i want to make this video based on request so it's very simple so in the home page you can see the amount of um, dollars i'm having that's 157 dollars points 32 cents that's 32 cents over here so let me move to my wallet and see whether this asset is usdt or this other assets so now i'll move to my sports wallet and um, you can see that this asset is busd is busd and i'm having bnb of um just um uh 1.23 dollars over here so it's very simple so all what i have to do is to um convert this busd into usd usdt rather i can sell it this straightforward but i want to convert it to usdt before i sell yes so in order to convert any assets to usdt or from any other asset to different assets just go to the home page and you can see something like more over here so you can see depth seats feral features grade and and more so it's very simple just proceed and click on more so when you click on more this is what you see over here my network is not working properly for me so bear with me so when i scroll down and i scroll down here you can see trade and under the trade option you can see convert over here that's the one you're going to use you can see convert spot margin and other over here you just click on the convert as soon as you click on the convert it will move you to the place for you to make the conversion over here so you can see this has been selected busdt busd for me already but if you want to let's say it's a trs and you want to transfer it to any other assets just click on it and you can see from busd to btc so if it is trs i just search for trs over here and click on it but right now i'm converting it from busd to usdt so from the two place i just click on it and i click on it, then i search for the assets i want to um, convert my coin to or my assets to yes so i click on usdt and i want to um, convert all the amount of um, busd available in my wallet to usdt so i just click on the maximum and i click on maximum it will just enter the maximum amount i'm having the maximum busd i'm having over here to usdt over here so if i want to just um convert just 20 i just type 20 over here then i'll proceed but it has um the minimum amount that you can convert yes i think the minimum amount will be um from one to um five thousand busd that's the minimum so now i want to convert all of them so i click on max and i click on max then i click on i click on preview conversion so when i click on preview conversion you can see that um, this will be here and the countdown will start from seven seconds down so now i'll convert this to that so you, you have to like always get stick to the conversion time when the countdown is completed you have to click on refresh and it will refresh because any point in time the market can change the price can rise and it can fall at any point in time so as soon as the conversion time is um due or it's it expired you have to click on refresh in order to get the uh, updated um updated price so i click on refresh and i'll convert it and i click on convert and i click on convert it's just a step forward just some few seconds and it will convert and this is free there's no there is no deduction when you are converting it so afterwards i just click on back to home so when i go to my wallet you can see that what i've converted from usd is now available over here so usdt you can see usdt over here so now our first one is done so how can we sell this into our mobile money it's very simple and very easy so you can see on top here you can see overview sports funding margin features and and 
So in order for you to sell your assets through P2P, um, you'll be using the funding wallets to do so. And now when I check my funding wallets, it is zero, 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 it is zero. I'm having nothing in my funding wallets. So what do I do now? I go to the sports wallets, then I simply click on transfer. You can see dip seats, withdraw and transfer over here. So I simply click on transfer. So when I click on transfer, you can see from I'm transferring from my sports wallet to my founding wallet. So on the two, just click on the cross margin and select founding over here. I'll select founding. So now select founding and just wait patiently for it to load. Then you can see the asset here is BTC. And now I'm having no BTC to transfer from a sports wallet to the founding. So what do I do now? I just click on the BTC and select the, the asset that I want to transfer. So now I want to transfer USDT. So simply click on USDT and I'll click on maximum. So I want to transfer all the maximum amounts I'm having over here. Just click on confirm transfer and your funds will be moved from your sports wallet directly to your um, founding wallet. So you can see my sports wallet when I refresh it, you have, I have um, no USDT over here. You can see no USDT assets over here. Yes, you can see none of them over here. Now, after transferring my funds from the sports wallet to the founding wallet, you can see that I'm having zero BTC over here or zero dollars over here. So as soon as I move to the founding wallet, you can see that now my um, USDT that I transferred from the sports wallet has now reflects into this place. So anytime you want to sell your assets on Binance, just transfer your funds from sports wallet to the founding wallet and you can proceed with everything. So now I'll just move to the actual thing over here. So you can see P2P, pay gift card and pool. The P2P simply means peer to peer peer to peer so let's click on p2p and this is the most crucial place that you have to um take notes of this place so you can see buy and sell over here buy and sell in this case we are selling our assets so i click on sell so as, as soon as i click on sell you can see a lot of offers over here a lot of offers over here if you are new if this is your first time selling assets they will ask you to add your mobile money wallet over here to add a payment wallet over here so click on the payments method um so if you want to use with empty mobile money just click on empty mobile money right now i've already linked my empty mobile money to this um particular account so there is no need for me to add any number but if this your new your first time of doing this they'll ask you to add your um empty mobile money to it if it is vodafone cash i just click on vodafone cash and um I'll add my Vodafone Cash wallet to this and I've already added it to this so I want to use my Vodafone Cash for this particular transaction so I click on confirm so I click on confirm it will sort out all the Vodafone Cash agents over here all those people um, who are buying the USDT with Vodafone Cash over here so afterwards if you are selling with a low um, when your USDT is small or it's lower you can click on the amount and enter the amount that you are selling if it's twenty dollars just enter twenty dollars over here in this case it's gonna see this over here so mine is not um, all that little so you can see a lot of offers over here and um this one is buying each usdt at 12 cities 48 pesos as at now as at now in the morning it was at um 12.78 but that's reduced to 12.48 now so let me scroll down if i can get better offer over here so scrolling down it is being reduced it's being reduced and yes so it's better for me to choose the first one and the limit is 200 cities to 3000 cities of which we fall in this but if you want to get nice offers just turn off this um filter put it at all and click on confirm maybe you might get a better you see you, can, you might get a better than a better one than the first one so you can see let's scroll down and 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 see whether we get something something better so empty and mobile money this from twenty thousand no your asset is not going to twenty thousand so this is twelve point five zero twelve point five zero and it's for mobile money mtn mobile money and basically i'm not going to use my mtn mobile money i'm going to use my vodafone cash so it's better for me to use the vodafone cash for having cash yes so i click on sell just simply click on sell over here if the price is okay for you just click on sell and on the next page you can see that 
um by fiat by crypto so if you want to sell um some amounts if you don't want to sell all of them just enter let's say i want to sell 300 Ghana cities i just enter 300 Ghana cities over here if i want to sell it by crypto i just send it here and convert say that maybe 20 dollars that i want to send i want to sell so 20 dollars over here but in this case i want to sell all the persons as you say as you sell all over here just click on all so all the assets i'm having in my um, wallets will be sold yes all the usdt in my wallet would be sold over here so now i'm going to get 1962.85 ghana cities i don't want people like i don't want to um, be getting um persuasive on my pages so i'll move backwards and clear this persuasive i want to get it as it is so you can see it over here i selected vodafone cash that's prince or poku my vodafone cash over here if i want to add a different vodafone cash account i can click on add vodafone cash when i click on add vodafone cash they will ask me for the number so that i can add a vodafone cash over here so if i want to change it to i'll just move back and change it as well yeah so after entering the amount of money i want to sell i just click on sell usdt so 157.21 um, usdt is going to give me 1962 ghana cities i just click on sell usdt so when i click on sell usdt let's wait for it to load so after just waiting for it to load this you have to be careful over here this is the final stage of your transaction you have to be careful every mistake you make is at your own risk so you can see that everything is set over here and the person has to send exactly 1962 ghana cities the main reason why i cleared off the um persuasive or the the the, the persuasive is that i don't want to like lose that asset you see people used to sell, sell send persuasive others choose to ignore um, sending the um persuasive but the persuasive means a lot to me so this is very simple when the person sends you the money you can see that um the money has been reflected into your mobile money wallet and as soon as the person sends the money he will mark the trade as paid so when he marks the, the trade as paid you can see this method being switched yellow being switched yellow so as soon as you click on payments received your assets will be released to the person indicating that you have received the amount the person has to send to you so you too have released the amount to the person you have to cross check your accounts check your mobile balance before you make this step check your momo accounts before you make this step because there are a lot of people on this platform who are scammers yes though they are genuine people over here but we have scammers over here you can see that payments received the person has marked my um trade as received so how can i see that this um, person has sent the money let me go to my notification and see if it is okay so let me check my data my um messages to see that if i've gotten this prompt over here so i've not getting anything i've not getting anything so let me go to my um mobile money and check my balance so when i checked my vodafone cash wallet and you can see a deficit of 1962 was made into your account yes yeah, so this is um the payments and i checked my vodafone cash and i saw that it has reflects truly so let me go back and check my binance so that i can release my asset to the person so it is exactly um the amount he sent so you can go to the chart and chat with the person if you haven't received the amount or something like that you can go to the person so it is 1962 and i received the exact money so let's click on payments received because now i've gotten the amount of money and note if you haven't received the money please don't release your assets when you release your assets it will be your own risk because you go through some many like you go through many processes and you might lose your assets yes kindly take notes so the next step is you can see receive payments in your accounts so i have not received payments from the buyer if you have not received payments from the buyer and the buyer has mark the trade as paid you have to select the, the first one and click on confirm but now i have received the correct amounts so payments sender matches 
um, the buyer's verified name on Binance and I agree to receive my crypto to the buyer. I'll mark this one and click on confirm. So as soon as I click on confirm, the next one is for me to go through the verification in order for my assets to be released. And I click on send code, my um, the code will be sent to my, my number so that I can verify and the assets will be released to the person successfully. Yes, so I am done. I'm done over here. So now you can see that um, I have successfully sold 157.21 USDT over here, which is equivalent to 1,962 Ghana cities. This is my security verification. I can just set a fan password in order to just quit this um, verification with my mobile number. Sometimes my mobile phone will not be available. So if I set um, a transaction, a fan password, I'll just enter the fan password and move forward. So let me set this within this particular time and now move on. Now I'm done with my trade and um, you can see how was your trading experience. So you can leave a positive or a negative comment over here and this one i will leave a positive comment over here because it was fast yes it was fast the person sent it very fast very quickly so i just click on positive and I will, you can see you can add um, a good comment over here good price fast transaction polite and friendly patient safe and trustworthy you can type anything you want to say about this particular um vendor over here so i just um select fast transaction so after was then um fast transaction then i'll click on leave comments leave comments so click on leave comments so maybe you might be um a buyer on this platform and you might need people to get um you nice um nice update or like leave nice comments after your trade so do as to others as you want others to do on to you so basically this is how you can sell your assets from binance into your mobile money empty mobile money wallets or Apple to go or vodafone cash even to your bank accounts it's very simple and very easy if you don't have a binance account just go through the description you can see a link just click on it to register for binance accounts and get some free uh, btc when you use the link in the description so thank you very much for watching this particular video let's meet on my next video